Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Today I'm going to read a story about Katie. We've seen Katie before, she's quite a character. And here she is. The story is called Katie and the Spanish Princess. The story is written and illustrated by James Mayhew. Let's look inside. Here are some other super stories. And there is Katie and the Spanish Princess. Tomorrow was Katie's birthday and Grandma was making a princess costume for her fancy dress party. But the costume didn't look quite right. We need to see some princess pictures, said Grandma. Let's go to the gallery. Good idea. At the gallery, Katie and Grandma found a picture called Portrait of the Infanta Margarita by Diego Velasquez. She must be a princess, said Katie. Look at her dress. It doesn't look very comfy, said Grandma, sitting down. Now I'll just have a quick snooze while you look around. It might not be a comfy dress, sighed Katie, but it is beautiful. Do you really think so? said a voice. Katie looked around, but there was no one there except Grandma, and she was sound asleep. Did you say something? Katie asked Margarita. Yes, but I'm not really supposed to speak, whispered the princess. Quickly, come inside. And she helped Katie into the picture. Oh, how exciting. Shall we play together? asked Margarita. I'm fed up with being quiet and good and behaving like a princess. Let's play dressing up, said Katie. I'll be a princess and you can be a, a, I can be you, cried Margarita. We'll swap clothes. That sounds fun. They quickly change clothes. How do I look? asked Katie. Like a princess, giggled Margarita. And now you must behave like one. Easy, laughed Katie. And you have to behave like me. At last I'm free, shouted Margarita, jumping into the gallery. Katie had found it hard to keep up in the enormous dress. Wait for me, she called. Margarita waited for Katie to catch up. Let's look at the pictures, she said. Which is your favourite? That one, said Katie, pointing to a picture called Don Manuel Osorio de Zuniga by Francisco Goya. Look at all his pets. Suddenly a bird swooped out of the picture and snatched the jewel from the beautiful dress. A magpie! said Katie. His name is Pluma, said the little boy tearfully. He loves shiny things. Oh, where has he gone? Don't worry, Manuel, said Margarita. We'll catch him. This dress is impossible to run in, said Katie, as they chased Pluma, but they couldn't catch him. And he flew inside another painting. <gasps> It was called The Parasol by Francisco Goya. Come on, said Margarita, let's go inside. And they clambered through the frame. Greetings, your majesty, said a young couple with a dog. They thought Katie was the real princess. Look, there's Pluma, said Margarita. He's up in that tree. How are we going to catch him? asked Katie. You mustn't climb up in that dress, said the young man. You'll spoil it. Send your servant instead, said the lady, pointing at Margarita. Margarita climbed up the tree. She was just about to catch the bird when the dog started barking. Pluma flew off into the gallery. Come on, Margarita, said Katie. Follow that bird. What a strange princess, said the lady. 
There was no sign of Pluma in the gallery, but they could hear someone laughing. It was a scruffy little boy in a painting called a peasant boy leaning on a sill by Bartolome Murillo. Are you looking for a bird? asked the boy. It flew in here. So Margarita and Katie squeezed through the small frame. They found themselves in the ruins of an old house. Pluma was perched out of reach on a high windowsill. I've got an idea, whispered the boy. He broke up a piece of bread and scattered the crumbs. It's the last of my food, so I hope it works. There are the crumbs. There's Pluma. Pluma spotted the bread and flew down. In a flash, the boy caught the bird and handed the jewel back to Katie. Thank you, said Katie. It was kind of you to use your bread to catch Pluma. The boy bowed and said, you're welcome, your majesty. Manuel will be worried about Pluma, said Margarita, taking the bird. We should go. That poor boy must be very hungry, said Katie, waving goodbye. Yes, said Margarita. We always have plenty of food, so I suppose I'm lucky being a princess, really. They walked back to Pluma's picture, where Manuel was waiting anxiously. You found him, he said, gently stroking Pluma. Make sure you hold on to his ribbon, said Katie. I will, said Manuel. Thank you. Suddenly they heard a loud voice. Margarita, where are you? Oh, it's Papa, said Margarita. Katie saw a tall man in a painting called Philip the Fourth of Spain in brown and silver by Diego Velasquez. Goodness me, she gasped. A real king. I am here, Papa, said Margarita. Heavens, what are you wearing, said the king. And who is the other little princess? This is my friend Katie, said Margarita. We swapped clothes so she could be princess for a day. For the day. And did you enjoy being a princess, asked the king. Well, said Katie, it's quite hard to have fun in such fancy clothes. It certainly is, laughed the king. Now change back, you two, before anyone sees you. They stepped into Margarita's picture and changed back into their own clothes. It was fun to be you for a while, said Margarita, but it's good to be me again. Katie laughed. Thanks for letting me be a princess. Goodbye. Adios, my friend, said Margarita. Katie gently woke Grandma. Come on, said Grandma. Let's go and have some lemonade and a slice of cake, said Katie. Katie chose a large slice of chocolate cake. She was just about to eat it when she thought of something. Back in a minute, Grandma, said Katie. She went back to the picture of the scruffy boy. He was surprised to see that Katie wasn't really a princess. You must be hungry, said Katie. Have my cake. You're very kind, he said. Gracias. Katie ran back and finished her lemonade. Come on, said Grandma. Let's go home and make that princess costume. Thanks, Grandma, said Katie. But I don't think I want to be a princess anymore. I want to be a pirate instead. <laughs> and here's some information about Katie and some other wonderful stories about Katie's adventures. And there's the back cover and there's the back and front cover. And there's the front Katie and the Spanish princess. What a super story. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.